Hi. Yeah. Uh, hi. Could you turn the music down a little? You really gonna bother me at this hour of the night? <laughs> oh my god, okay. You totally win, dude. Be right back, Javier. Hold your frickin' water. Christ on a cross. Peter! Hi! So what if you have to move? You have like four months. I can't afford to move. I would have to save for a security deposit, first and last month's rent, every frickin' month in between. What do you spend your money on? Living! Owen? Living! Uh, Manhattan's more expensive than Queens. I'm not in a whole lot of Queens. Ugh, here we go. New York is so much better than Chicago. Why do I call you? Because I'm your mother and I make you feel better. All right, let's figure out how you can save some money so you don't end up on the street when these two pansies throw you out. Mom, they're actually really sweet guys and they wanted to give me several months notice that besides they don't even know if they're definitely coming back sons of bitches stringing along a simple girl like you what does that mean how much is your rent you know they don't charge me rent peter and mark have me paying utilities instead oh well that's a different story how much is your health insurance when I talk? Why, why do you think I've been working at Farnsworth? Because I love marketing? I, I, it's benefits, Mom. Benefits. Well, then how the mother-loving hell do you spend your money? Certainly not on clothes. I gotta go. Good work, Jessica. Thanks. Yeah, you know, I really think a regular spot in an NPR program. Right. I like the way you work. Always thinking next steps. Have you heard back from Oprah about my co-hosting her show? <laughs> um, can I ask you a question? I um, seem to be having a problem with, um, with money. It's that I don't have any. <laughs> or I shouldn't say that. It's not that I don't have any. I just am having problem keeping it. Who among us can, Jessica? Well, who among us can? I thought that was rhetorical. Um, well, you. You. You can keep it. Don't spend it. Keep it in your wallet. Okay. You're lucky that I give you these little pieces of advice for free, what with your financial mess and all. Now, let's get a cab. You can expense it. Taxi. Sure. He said their contract was renewed, so they're staying in LA for another two years. And then he apologized for making me all nervous, which was so stupid because I was so not nervous. Get off my back with this visiting shit, Grandma! I don't have any money! Who's gonna pay for it? Who? You and your social security check? I don't think so! But he said he and Mark want to take me to dinner next time they're in town. Oh, that's so sweet. You make them take you someplace nice for having put you through all this. Oh, what? It wasn't even definite, and even if it was, they gave her like four months notice. Lay off her, Owen. It doesn't matter how much time it took. Moving sucks. Thank you, Sarah. It was good for me, really, because I, I learned a lot about my finances. I finally sat down and did like a real budget. I know exactly where my money's going. I did that two years ago. It was scary. Movies, books, eating out, and Greenpeace, I mean, pff, was gone. And you, Fletch? Similar. I 
learned that I do not have to worry. I can find and afford my own apartment. Thank you. And I was talking to Suzette. She actually said that I should ask for a raise. Always a good idea. Yeah, apparently I'm making less than her manicurist at the moment. How much do you make? Here, write it down. Awkward. I won't look. It's not a big deal, it's like... Oh my god! What, let me see that. <laughs> I made more than that my junior year of high school. Party, har har, we all know I just took this job because I needed the health insurance. Holy shit! Okay, it's not that bad. How do you afford Starbucks? Whole Foods? Oh, we should put in for wine. Oh, stop it! I am fine! Come on! This is. <laughs> the drunk guy on the subway you give $2 to every Tuesday and Thursday, he definitely makes more than you. It is not nice. It'll keep you honest. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, the important thing here I learned a lesson. I'm gonna be fine with a little more care and a raise, apparently. Everything will be good. Those kids on the Save the Christian ads with the, with the protruding <laughs> stomachs. <laughs> they make more than you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you gonna finish that?